And we're live. What is this, Lady Ada? Hey, everybody, and welcome to a big party here. We're having a good time here at the Adafruit headquarters. That's where we're at. And you can see, like, so much more. Because with the wide-angle cam on, we're here with a bunch of Adafruit folks. But this is your time to show and tell what projects you're going to show off. So all these people to hang out. We're so excited to see you. Thanks for coming by. And uh, we're going to call on you in the order we see you. We will check in with some of the local people as well. And uh, it's going to be a little show-and-tell party right here. That's right. Okay, to get started, Naomi, what have you got printing up this week? Yeah, the, hey, hey guys, how's everybody yeah. doing? Hello. Um, this week is like, I have lots of icosahedron. So, icosahedron, this is kind of what I did a couple weeks ago. Uh, I, You know, we did a talking detuning, which was really awesome with Phil B. And I figured I'd do something different with it. So, I took the shape and figured out how to design it in Fusion 360. So, I made this kind of frame. And this is printed in conductive, not conductive. Polishable steel filament. You can print steel. It's like mixed with PLA, so it's really nice and shiny. I sanded it and stuff. And then I figured I'd sort of remix it, add some some electrons into it. So I made this kind of glowing D20, and that was kind of cool. And originally I was good. It's like printed in different pieces. That's how it, how it works. And originally I was going to make it into like a desk a desktop ornament, something like that. But then with Halloween coming up, I thought I'd make a prop. So I figured, what kind of cool prop can I make with the icosahedron? So I was going to make it into like uh, some sort of battle axe or something where the, like this would be the pommel, because that'd be kind of a cool pommel. But instead of that, I, th I figured I'd make it into the head of a mace with spikes, because why not? Looks so great. That's, that's, what, <laughs> that's what I have. Inside um, the head of the mace is a, a NeoPixel jewel. So that has seven NeoPixels. And then there's a wire that, that goes through the, um, through the rod. And then and the handle is all the electronics. We got an Adafruit trinket. And a battery, a 2200 LiPo battery, like the, the cylindrical kind, because it fits perfectly um, in there. Nice. And then I have this nice metal button. I haven't used this in a project yet. And these are nice buttons. Yeah. Uh, it's like uh -huh. a rugged or waterproof button with a red LED in it. So it's cool. It just turns it on and off. It looks cool without the LEDs, but it looks better with the LEDs. And again, this is like that cool um, polishable steel filament. It's pretty cool. And what I like about the project is that it is all modular. So like all the joints here have custom threads, so I can unscrew this and take it apart and stuff. Like when I when I need to recharge it or add some new new pixel animations. So that's this week's project. Sort of, I thought I'd show you guys sort of the evolution of it. Like, hey, here's a cool little desktop thing, and then turn it into something that's a little bit bigger and great for cosplay. So that's this that week's looks, project. Okay. That looks fun to swing around. Yeah. Oh, and I'll, let me plug one thing. Um, we have a contest going on at Pinshape. If you guys go to pinshape.com, uh, we are sponsoring a Design for Electronics contest where you guys can win some Adafruit gear and a couple 3D printers. So check that out. Me and Pedro are judging. So check that out. And hopefully tomorrow we'll do 3D Hangouts live in New York. That's right. We're 3D printing a version of you here. It's been going right. on for about 20-something years, and it'll, the print will be finished, and it'll be ready to broadcast itself. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. All right. All right thanks, thanks, guys. Bye. OK, next up, Sophie, if I'm pronouncing that Hi, right. Hi, Sophie. Unmute your mic, and show us your project. Oh, your mic isn't. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, so my project is something I made to wear to um, Maker Fair. Like two weeks ago in Seattle, we had a mini Maker Fair. So it's this, it's like a, um, the base is like a leather, it's like a leather vest harness thing that I made. And, um, and then these are two meters of NeoPixel strips that I just cut into um, different sizes and made them into sort of like a matrix. And then um, I back them on some like rigid foam so that they won't like flex or anything while I'm wearing it. And then um, all the wires kind of route over the shoulders and go to this backpack in the back, which um, has like a giant battery pack in it. And then That's cool. there's like a perma proto board and a trinket running everything. Um, it's like a tr it's a trinket pro. Um, and basically, all of the strips go to individual pins. I know I could have probably done that more simply, but I actually like having all the wires sort of come over in this like mm -hmm. circulatory system, like must. <laughs> yeah. You looking 
kind of cyberpunk look. So I just went with it, and um, and it actually was simpler for me to understand, like coding wise, to have them all go to individual pins. Which my husband is Kim. He's also in this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he really like helped me so much with the coding. Mm -hmm. It's the fast LED library. And um, so this is just the colors are going through the uh, sort of sample um, sort of series that it runs through. And then I have a little button on this side, like right here, that um, when I press it, it swaps to this. That's cool. He's like, cool. this series is all in white. We're just kind of putting together some cool um, sequences. I like kind of playing with the timing of it, like, having something fast happen and then having like a slow fade out. So, so yeah, I think in what I want to do next is add a microphone and have it be sort of like a graphic equalizer of my voice. I think that would be really cool. And then the back, I really, this is just like a temporary cover. I want to do um, like a 3D printed cover that's sort of semi-transparent and maybe have, you know, some of the lights and wires show. And it would just be like a extruded like polygonal shape and just, Looks sort of futuristic. Can we recommend that Kaisahedrons? Yeah, yeah, I would love to. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know where you can get right. we, we have a Kaisahedrons. We've got plenty. This is well, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sophie. Um, email support at adafruit.com. And the only thing that's missing is a scene on the show and tell sticker, but you'll get one now and we'll send you out one. Yay, thank you so much. All right, thank you. All right, I'm going to go to Sean because it looks like he has something big going on here. Sean, I'm your mic and show us your project. Uh, all right, well, my name is Peter Spielberg. I'm here with all the time. Oh, man. Sean, you're coming. I'm going to show you the project. Sean, you're coming. I'm going to show you the project. Sorry? Yeah, your, your audio is coming in, coming in really all over the place. Do you want to try to uh, rejoin? And check your audio a little bit. It looks like you're you have you're on Wi-Fi or something. Uh, sorry, is that any better? Yeah, that's great. All right, cool. Okay, go for it, John. I'm Peter Spencer from the Halifax Makerspace here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Our current project is a pinball machine that we hope to present at Halcon. Halcon is a, uh, a yearly event here. It's a sort of a local gaming, science fiction, uh, fantasy convention. Uh, this is a Whitewood version of our, of our pinball machine. We also have uh, a fully arted up version, but we're sort of saving that for uh, when we finally get everything working exactly the way we want it. Uh, we wanted to demonstrate today uh, some NeoPixel rings that we've mounted in the pop bumper caps. This thing is called Mission Pinball. And they've actually got a whole infrastructure around using fade candy boards and neopixel rings to uh, uh, to light fill up. So yeah, we've got these uh, twelve pixel neopixel rings, uh, and they fit inside the pop bumper cap. Uh, this one's got a little bit sideways on us, but the other ones uh, are working a lot better. So what we've actually done is we've got a mode in the machine. Player needs to hit the pop bumper 12 times a piece, and so as you can imagine, that works. Uh, you can actually tell the player exactly how many times. Cap. There it is. There it is. Vendor area. So they launch the ball. The ball hits the pop bumpers. They actually tell it. They tell them how many times they hit each one. Uh, yeah. so Live pinball. Um, Live pinball. Yeah, unfortunately, I've gotten it wrong. But I, I think you got okay. the idea. Um, so rings indicate exactly how many times each pop up recaps the And And uh, yeah, we thought that was really cool. All right. This is cool. Well, thank you, cool. thank you so much, Sean. I'm getting a little bit of an echo, but I will tell you that. You get a show and tell sticker. So email support at adafruit.com, and we'll send you out one. If you have more videos and photos later, too, um, email our contact form on the blog so we can post it up when you're finished with this, too. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Uh, next up, so we have a few people here on one. We're maxed out tonight. Peter. Hey, Peter. How's it going? Peter and crew. Unmute your mic and show us your project. Oh, Wait. we. Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Oh. Oh. yeah. You know they put the camera button right next to the yeah. mic button. Yeah, there you go. I know. I know. I know. All right. What you got going on? Hey, welcome to Fat Cat Fab Lab. Um, hey. Here in beautiful New York City in the West Village. Hello. Hello. I can, I can almost see you from here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Um, so uh, I want to show you guys our group project. That um, this is a, a subset of the group here. Hey guys, I'm Jeff. That's hey Jack. Jack. Hey Jack. Um, we built a uh, a carnival shooting gallery. Let me. Zach. Okay. This is our shooter. Wow, these projects uh, are big tonight. Yeah, this is serious. This is really. Big. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> They're like making channel loud. It's using a vacuum cleaner. You're really good at this too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's pretty easy. Good luck to practice. Yeah. Were your sound effects Pee Wee Herman? Um, no, that's actually a function of like the. So we were shooting um, um, ping pong balls. You can see them down in the bottom there and up in, in the hopper. Whoops, sorry. Up in the hopper. Um, the balls uh, get into the, the they're they're forced with air, and so they kind of like vibrate. They get they get stuck, and um, they get stuck in the tube, and like they kind of get stuck in the tube and make this sound as they vibrate through. So we've got these like NeoPixel signs in the back like we we built these um like i did the backboard part that was my responsibility and um yeah and uh we have tcs um controlling all the targets and then the the, the controller two tcs and then the controller is a um raspberry pi which we're it's kind of naked right now but that's the that's yeah i like that it looks like this is just an office and just someone started building this and there's like sorry like this is a this is it now, folks. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is what, this is what the office is like. Yeah. Um, how many people worked on this all together? How many people worked on it together? I would say maybe like probably six or seven. Okay. Well, when you email support at adafruit.com, you get six or seven. Okay. Sell sticker. I think that's fair. And Fantastic. You can also, yeah, you can also put them on the front row. You can shoot at them, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, email. And also, when this is ready to be posted about or whatever, let us know. Um, this is super cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. We will be, well, you know, if all goes as planned, we'll be yeah. doing this and make it fair. Yeah, us okay. too. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, Peter and team. You're very welcome. That's awesome. I can't wait to play if it yeah. works out. All right. <laughs> OK. Goodbye. Next up, Digital Scott. Not Physical Scott. Digital Scott. <laughs> I'll get your mic and show us your project. Because you're only on the other side. Hey, how's it going? Um, my project isn't quite as fun as the last ones, but uh, Whoa. <laughs> so uh, um, I work in operations, and I support a lot of servers and web servers and that kind of stuff. And we generally look at boring websites to see when things are up or down. So I thought this would be a really cool idea. And what it does is it actually logs into our uh, operations site and checks the status of everything. <laughs> and if everything's green, which it is now, it's all good. It the obvious. Goes down, the status changes. It can turn to yellow or to orange or to red. And um, so each of these little neo pixels on the bottom give me a status of my different groups of servers. And then the eyeballs change based on the worst possible scenario. So if the eyeballs are yellow, I know something's in alarm state. Or if they're green, whatever. Um, I plan to add a sound to it. Um, there's a motor in here that runs the jaw. So I'm going to try to get some sound to go and have the jaw move along and talk to me about what the status of my servers are instead of just having to watch a website. Um, it's built around a, um, a Feather 8266, so it's all Wi-Fi. Uh, and it's got um, the lithium-ion batteries, so 
uh, I can unplug it and move it around, take it with me wherever I am in the house. And, you take the and head anywhere. And that that log in. Is, so, like, when you get like a new DevOps person, you just hire a new person. You can you tell them you're on 24 hour pager head duty, and they have to carry around <laughs> head. Is, this is the guy you're replacing. It's actually worse than that. Is I just hired someone, and I built a smaller version of it, and I sent it to his house and said, "Plug this in." And so he has a small version of his house that <laughs> so you can watch it too. It's really yeah. funny. All right. That's fantastic. Are you now secretly hoping your servers crash so he goes red? Oh, you know, I, I actually woke up the other morning and walked downstairs in my living room where it sits and it was all red and I kind of freaked out and realized it was just my Wi-Fi at my house that had gone down. <laughs> uh, <that's laughs> all right. Well, thank you so it's much. It's show. Scott, uh, email support at adafruit.com and you get a little show and tell sticker in there. All right. Thanks. Adorable skull. All right. Thanks so much. Okay. Lon. How's it going, Lon? Hey. Hi, Lon. So, you might recall, back in Christmas of 2014, I had made my first foam sword as a Christmas gift. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. And uh, you asked me to do uh, a learning system tutorial on that. And I, it was yeah. my first sword, so I wasn't real confident on it. But we're getting around to it. And this week, I was working on patterns for Halloween Pirate. That's so good. here's our dagger, the nice little foam dagger. and. Uh, a saber. Oh wow! Ooh. Oh, that's that's super piratey. Yep, super piratey. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm happy with this design. I've got one more revision to do on this one. Uh, this inlay area I'm working on. The technique I came up with is going to be a little too finicky for a first timer to do. Um, so kind of design for kidding instead of design for manufacturing. But yeah. I should have these. I'll be painting these up tomorrow, and hopefully have the designs all finished and ready for you next week. Okay. Okay. All awesome. right. Well, thank you so much, Lon. And of course, your store gets a as seen on show and tell. Stick your email support at and we'll send you on. Yar. All right. What's up, Adrian? How's it going? Hey, guys. So um, hey. this week, I have another little investigation into compliant 3D printed like structures. So um, a while back on Thingiverse, hold on, I want to get his name right. Um, Andreas Bastian published these kind of meso structured elements like this that have these really fine like kind of um networks of lines and whatnot and um i had noticed nobody had really tried to print it in like flexible materials like ninja flex like this and it gives it a lot of interesting properties so it's very elastic and stretches a lot and is quite fun to play with um and it also conforms well to a lot of surfaces like it'll just kind of mold around my hand here. And so I've been trying to think of uh, different applications for this. Um, I've been getting ideas from like thermal insulation, to, <laughs> um, acoustic isolation. And so uh, I've just kind of been playing around with structures like this. This is a thicker one that shows an, another interesting property. It doesn't compress much in this direction, but compresses a fair amount in this direction. Mm. Maybe like automotive bumpers or something. I don't know. Maybe cross clothing. Yeah, clothing. Yeah. Um. My my design teacher had given me the idea of like um uh controlled compression and crumple zones in like automobiles and stuff. Oh, it would be good for like sneakers or something. Yeah. yeah. So so I've been thinking of lots of different ideas for this. So this was just kind of a fun little. Cool. Yeah, it's cool looking. Stretchy One, material squeeze. thing. Yeah. yeah. Now we're all like we're all gonna want to squeeze it. Okay. Did you come up with a name for this? Yeah, so also, if you do want to squeeze it, I will be at Maker Fair both days this weekend. Um, okay. I will have lots of fun goodies with me, um, including this. And uh, I will actually be presenting both days at the Make Science stage. Um, okay. On Saturday, I'm presenting at 3.45, and on Sunday, I'm presenting at 12.45. Um, I'm going to be talking about democratized tools and how makers can do extraordinary things. So um, right. yeah, we ran into you at a previous Maker Fair. So this is yeah part of uh, the Make Adventure. Yeah, so I, I hope to see um, all you guys there, including Ruiz Brothers and everyone, and uh, it should be a good time. So um, hopefully, I'll see you this weekend. Awesome. All right. Well, of course, you get an on Show and Tell sticker. We'll probably have a couple with us. Give me one in person too, maybe. So all right. Well, thank you, thank you, Lon. Thank you, Noah. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Scott. Do you want thank you, Sophie. Yeah. yeah. One more. We got one more. Okay. This is this is a this is a rare one because we're going behind the camera this way. Okay. All right, I'm on this side of the camera. Yeah. All right, we got one more. So Tony D uh, made fruit here, 
and showing off something interesting. So this is Scott, uh, and he's been working on some. That's what we're showing stuff. off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 He's yep. Nice, human. nice work, you yeah. made it. 3D printed a human. So, but what Scott's holding is a little board. This is a NeoPixel Arduino shield. It's connected to a board. We'll talk a little more later about. And it's running little rainbow demo, which maybe isn't the most interesting thing in the world. But this is Micro Python, which is really cool. Uh, something we've been doing a lot of. There's lots of cool videos and stuff. And I actually ported over to a new processor, the NeoPixel code. So Scott did the work to get the SAMD21 processor. Uh, we'll talk more about that to use MicroPython. And then I just got NeoPixel working with that. So this is basically the rainbow animation for it on uh, MicroPython SAMD21. So cool stuff that hopefully we'll see more of in the future for that. So Yeah. And then tonight on Ask an Engineer, it's not about you know, don't ask. We'll be showing the Metro Express, we're calling it. Yeah. Yeah. So far. Yeah. Green board, a little yeah. bit of prototype. So. Thomas doesn't exist green, yet. When it's yeah. green, you know it's a prototype. Yeah, it doesn't even have anything on the back because I didn't pay for a double-sided silk screen. Oh. Yeah. Twenty bucks, man. You got twenty bucks. I'm gonna give that All up. right. Well, you get stickers if you want. Uh, <laughs> we'll go grab some. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, everyone. We'll see everyone next week. And ask an engineer starts in a few minutes. Thanks, everybody. Bye. -bye.